Right, so on the left I have Canna Creta and on the right Canna Madeira. Right, so the heat has really gone out of the day. It's evening time now and I've just prepared the whole. So I know where I'm going to be planting these smaller cannas along the sides, <coughs> one of each. here and over here I'll just get them in now right so here's the last one to go in some new growth points coming off they're all looking healthy lots of roots I'll get this in right so here we have a new can added here and here to go with the cannas at the back. The flowers will add that splash of colour needed for a tropical garden. And here's a new one here. And here's another one here. So they're planted up watered in. They would have got a really good drink sitting in the, uh, the pots. This one here um at the end of last season heading into the winter in one of the garden centers it was there was no label or anything on it and it was dying back and i didn't know if it was a banana or a canna but it turned out it is a, a canna um and i don't know what type it is now looking at the leaf size and just the the shape and the lines on the leaf. I think it might be Cleopatra. I'm not too sure. I have Cleopatra on the back. And these look identical in size and the lines. So I'm gonna find out later on. Um, but the beds are building up nicely now with bananas, cannas, collocages. Um, that seagrass is probably the oddball in here because they don't like they like uh, drought and really dry so I'm trying not to I won't be watering this anymore and it's sitting under a lot of gravel and stuff so it should stay drained and um, this grass here can take can take moisture and stuff but I won't be soaking that either but the bananas cannas and collocages they love getting saturated um, yeah, and the same over in this bed here, bananas and cannas. Um, I don't have any grass in this bed yet. Max did a number on the the two jacks joints here, but um, I just I cut them back, clean them up. They're starting to grow, grow back anyway. It's all about the root development anyway, because I want these, I want strong root development and the corn to develop because hopefully, well apart from the onset, all the rest of these plants will be staying in this bed over winter with a claw shoulder. Right, so I'm being moving a lot of the uh, the pups of the moose pasture down into the field and I'm planning on moving this one here as well when it gets bigger it's probably hitting about a foot there now this one as well so I have plans for these two whiskey barrels to put in different types of uh, hardy bananas fingers crossed 